Hey guys, you're watching someone and only my name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode Load in World of another episode of Let's Build a Medieval City. Last episode, we built this stonemason's house. I think it looks really, really cool. Uh, really nice shapes, and I love the entrance on the sort of first floor as opposed to the ground floor. Today, we've got a lot to do. I want to do the entire interior, I want to do the entire exterior, the boundary, and everything. So, no real time to waste. Oh, but off camera, I did place one block. I just placed a the stair there, have a little flick on the roof. I like it. We need to put some torches down. Well, let's turn the shaders off as well. We need to put some torches down, not only to just make it look pretty, but to actually light up the place. It was uh, looking a little bit dark in here. Put one there as well. I think it should be good. Nice sort of one on the entrance there. Now, let's work on the outside first. Let's get the outside completed. We're going to need, I'm going to use cauldrons. That's not how you spell cauldrons. That's not how you spell cauldrons. That's how you spell cauldrons. That's how you spell cauldrons. There we go. <laughs> uh, cauldrons of water. Um, or I suppose it could probably be oil or something like that. To keep the um, like saws and stuff that they use to cut the stones. Nice and lubricated. Uh, for the floor here. See, you would normally use stone, right, for the floor. But if we're going to be placing stones on the stone floor, they're going to blend in. So we're going to want to use something else. Gravel is grey. It's still going to sort of blend in together. We need a block that works for a a base. But doesn't blend into the rocks. And that's not going to be easy. I did not think about that. Do we just go with wood? Or do we go with stone? Right? And then not use stone as like a, 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 a block that he's going to be cutting up. Because he's going to probably be cutting up cobblestone anyway. Isn't he? So let's go from here. Let's go from the, pot, the, the stair boundary. And let's go, I don't know, out to here. Okay. This will be a nice sort of wall that goes across the back. I don't know yet. Yeah, that works. I think the stone actually works quite well. And then we'll have something like that so we can get to his entrance. Yeah, here we can pile up a load of stones and stuff. So we want to have cobblestone. Uh, we want to have, well, let's just go cobblestone stair, uh, slabs, maybe some cobblestone stairs. Uh, we're going to want to have stone brick. I've already got them. Stone brick stairs, stone brick slabs. I won't be using those because they just look a little bit too detailed and stuff. I think that should should work though. I don't want to place these near those because that doesn't make sense. So we'll put these on this side. We'll sort of, I don't know, pile up something like this. Well, I, I like that. That sort of looks like it's super hanging there a little bit. I like that. That's a really nice collection of stone there. What if we done that as well? No, I'll do it like that. Yeah. And then on this side, we'll have some cobblestone. We'll make it a little bit thinner, though, because we don't want to have too much of this. We'll do something like... Something like that. Okay. Nice little sort of there. So he's sort of making this into that, is what we're trying to sort of get the idea of. In here, we're going to want a crafting table. I'll put the crafting table down there. And there's space to work in the middle here. Maybe he's got uh, a block down like this. There's something like that going on underneath here. Uh, I don't like it in line. I like that a lot better. Uh, what can we do on the floor? Is there any detail that we can do on the floor? What if we get pressure plates, right? Do they tick when I walk over them? I think that's a changed sound effect. Was it, or was it just me? It sounded like a chink a minute ago. Well, I'm just thinking about these, right? So it like adds some texture to the floor. If we're using stone as the floor, this just makes it look like some parts of it are sort of lifted up and not sort of perfectly down. I'll sort of spam these about. I think it gives a really cool... Ow, just punched my mic. <laughs> I think that gives a really cool effect, right? I'm not a fan of like the the 
you get when you walk over them. But it just livens up the floor a little bit, gets rid of a boring stone base. Uh, yeah, we're going to go with that. We're going to keep it. Uh, is there anything else I can put under here? Like item frames. Oops. Uh, pickaxe. I'm going to use an iron one because it just looks the most normal. Um, I need something that looks like a saw. I mean, I've probably got a saw. Yeah, I've, I've got like a modded hacksaw. But uh, I want to keep this all absolutely modless. Just stuff that look really interesting. Maybe some tripwire hooks in some places. I mean, that just looks... I don't know what it would be for. I have no idea, but I just think it looks smart. Um, let's go with... We go to tools. What do we have? Do they look like... I know they're shears, but they sort of look like they've got a blade on them, like a file or something like that. And we'll use a hoe as well, just for the same reason. It sort of looks like maybe it's a tool that he can shape with or something like that. Just adds a little bit of something, something in there. All right, let's work on a wall. I don't want to have a stone wall um, because we've already got a stone wall there. So I think we're going to be forced into using something with uh, with wood. Uh, like with logs. Man, there'll be a lot of logs. Maybe we use logs, but we sort of get them in with something. Maybe I could get away with cobblestone walls. I'm thinking something something along the lines of like that but obviously not in the way maybe every two so that would be the entrance like that and then we need something on top of these. Something like that. It's nice and basic, but neat. Uh, that's horrible, but I can't do nothing about it. Uh, that and then Oop. that 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 and that so every two blocks we've got a log I think that looks quite neat and there's our boundary okay so we don't need anything around the side there or nothing like that we don't always need to surround the house like here we haven't surrounded the entire house or made it perfectly square plot it's looking pretty smart all right i think that's good for the outside i don't think we need anything more out here i think it definitely gets the point across that it's a stonemason oh what we do need though is where where can i put a sign that's actually going to be seen uh fence Not on that one. Should be on the other, other uh, underside. Oh, I got rid of the stupid fence. Fence. And then how... I, I always forget what block I use. I think it's spruce. It is. It's spruce. With a slab below and above. So that goes there. And then slab above and below. Item frame. And obviously, we're just going to put in a uh, stone brick, which I don't have in these. Just makes the most sense, doesn't it? So we've got a sign there for what shop it is. Now, interior. This is going to be where we're getting a little bit more tricky. Let's get slabs down. See, that's the line that I was talking about last episode. Uh, we're going to be using slabs, so on the underside it gives us a half a block more headroom uh, and also allows us to put like a cool beam in downstairs if we wanted to. Okay, uh, so there's a few sort of parts that poke through. That's going to be awkward to say the least. Not a huge fan of how we've got oak 
floors and oak walls on the interior here. We're going to have to make some um, a lot of furniture to sort of break that. But I think we can do that. I think we'll be fine. Uh, along the top here, we will probably do... Let's do that out of a different block, though. I can't have a... <laughs> I can't have uh, it all being the same. Mm. Cobblestone. So like this. Now, if you wanted to, if I just pop out very quickly, oops, you could, if you wanted to, put some windows in these tops. Um, I don't think that I've got the room on the interior to be able to make use of another floor. It's already quite a large building for our city. Uh, but you could definitely fit in a third floor if you wanted to. So you'd have the basement level, this level that we're on now. And then like a roof level with like the windows that poke through. I know a lot of you guys like that. I really like it in houses as well. Uh, but I don't like doing it on every single one. So we'll skip it for this one. So we're using cobblestone here just so we don't have oak absolutely everywhere on the interior. Uh, we can hide up those logs and those logs by putting logs there. That's quite cool. We can hide up this line of cobblestone by putting in a door or a wall and a door. I can put a piece of carpet on there to hide that up. See, that works. Let's get some torches going as well because we're getting a little bit dark in here now as we're placing more blocks. Um, I'll just have to put a rug, I think, in that doorway to hide up the rest of those. But this one does need to be there. Uh, we can put a plant there. That'll hide that one up. And I think then we're pretty good, right? Need a staircase that goes down. So let's take those out. Uh, it only needs to be one block wide. Stair. Like so. And then a fence. Already had it on me. I should really look in my hotbar first. Now I'm going to use a cobblestone wall. Because again, we've got a lot of oak on this interior. We need to try and hide that a little bit. So that works. That goes down to this basement level, uh, which just needs to be tidied up a little bit. The easiest way will be like this. Now, I should really break those slabs and put the, cobblestone, uh, the, the stone walls in there. But that's going to really ruin a lot of it. So instead, we'll do this. We'll do that there. Oh, I sort of like that. That one there. And that there. I can't place them there, obviously, because that's where the, the roof is. But we can still get up and down. For the floor, I mean, this could be anything. Uh, set cobble. It's a basement. It's just going to be storage, crates and chests and stuff like that. In fact, we probably could remove a bunch of windows from here. Uh, maybe there isn't too much point having windows into a, just a storage basement. Yeah. So, bedroom, let's get this out of the way. Super quick and easy. Uh, I don't know, maybe not super quick and easy. Bed goes there. Bookshelves. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. Um, over here, chest. I don't like it being symmetrical. <laughs> Stairs. Uh, dink, dink. Put a little table in down there. Flower pot. With a couple of flowers in. Okay, I think that's good for a bedroom. I don't think we really need any more than that. We've got lighting in here. And we've got nice, um, a really nice amount of windows. We've got eight windows in the bedroom. I bet your bedroom in real life doesn't have eight windows, does it? If it does, you've got to tweet me a picture of that. <laughs> A eight, eight windowed bedroom. All right, so we'll put in a nice rug down here. That hides up um, the stone that we could see underneath the floor. Here is perfect for a 
planter. Something cute like that. Uh, and then we need like a kitchen slash lounge. So this is going to be perfect spot for a kitchen here. We'll get a furnace. Like that. Maybe a double one. He's a stonemason. He's got a little bit more money, hasn't he? Uh, and then we'll go with... I think smooth sandstone works really well for countertops because of like the natural sort of door and countertop effect it has. Uh, so we'll just have something like that. <laughs> it's a little bit away from the medieval theme. I know it doesn't quite fit in 100%, but we'll be okay. Um, we'll be fine. Maybe you can have a nice stone top on it. Like that. Right. Uh, along the tops here, I'd like to do something a little bit more on the ceiling because we're a little bit dull at the moment. Um, I think I can just use slabs. Oops. That's symmetrical, right? Yeah, good. What am I stuck on? Oh, cobblestone wall. Okay, I think it looks a lot more interesting now when we're walking through here. It looks a little bit more claustrophobic, but it just looks a lot more structural. A lot more. It looks longer as well because the lines are going down like that. It makes the building look longer uh, when it actually isn't isn't any longer. Let's get these back again we'll have that in there we'll have one there nicely in the middle i like that spacing uh let's have a table and chairs in the middle stair we'll use spruce uh, we'll need sign we'll need fence uh wall because we don't want to use fences we've got too much wood um we want carpet Use brown. I can get away with brown. I want one of these. Like a bit bigger than normal. Like he's got a bit of a family. Maybe we use item frames instead of signs because I can't. You guys know this. You can't put a sign there and there. It doesn't allow you because it's in the same block. But you can with item frames. So it makes nice arms. Bit of a change then. Ugh. Okay. I think that's nice. I think that's a really nice upstairs. I think if the area is filled like at a nice amount. We look a little bit tight around here. But I can still walk through it without any problem. We'll get a little rug like that. Fills up that spot. Bedroom's all done. And if we go downstairs, this is all going to be storage. So we want like a load of chests. Um, maybe even some, uh, like a furnace or two down here would be cool. Like something like that and that. And I'll tell you what will be a really nice touch as well. I'll show you in a second. Um, let's go with trap chests. that yeah what would be really cool is cobwebs look it's a basement right so we'll put some cobwebs down in the corners here maybe one that sort of goes across like that definitely got a basement feel right i think we need to remove these windows like, I don't mind having one or two, but I think this have, having this many windows down here is just ridiculous. That will darken it up a little bit as well. In fact, I think I'm going to take away all of the windows. Torch. Hmm. 
want too much light going on down here. I think that's like enough lighting, right? So it gives you an impression that it's dark and dimly lit down there. Anything I can do on the floor? Not really. All right, I think I think I'm pretty happy there. Now, if we go to the outside, we can take these away now. And uh, maybe because it looks now a little bit nothing going on here. thinking something like I can't put one there uh, oh that's so in the way I'll tell you what I'm gonna actually we'll, uh, we'll do two we'll be fine okay just give something a little bit more on here slab Maybe cobblestone. I like that. What do you guys think? I think it looks a little bit more bottom stable now. Yep, we're gonna go with that. Oh, we've got a. F I've got a fire, <laughs> but no fire. Um. Ah, who cares? It's a fake chimney. You can get fake chimneys in real life. That's an actual thing. False chimneys. All right, that's going to do it there. I think we're done. I think we're done with this building. Outside looks amazing. Inside looks really cool. I think it's a really nice addition. I think we've got a nice sort of entrance that we can sort of sweep around a path with. Uh, let's get rid of this because this has been driving me nuts for a little while now. Set. Grass. We are slowly making the whole place look neater now. <laughs> the uh, grass is sort of starting to tear it, or we're starting to terraform it very slowly as and when needed. But yeah, we're getting a little bit flatter. A little bit of sand and stuff still about. But it's looking a lot a lot nicer. Alright guys, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode.